In this video, I will talk about RL parallel circuit. I will show you how to express the admittance Y in terms of circuit parameters. I will show you how to express the total impedance Z in terms of the conductance G and the inductive susceptance BL. Finally, I will show you the feather diagram or current triangle and the admittance triangle of this RL parallel circuit as you are familiar with parallel circuits. Here I will talk about AC parallel circuit. An AC parallel circuit consists of two or more circuit parameters connected in parallel across a single source of voltage or current. See, this is our circuit. You will see one end of this resistance R and one end of this inductance L are connected at this point. One end of this resistance R and one end of this inductance L are connected at this point. Therefore, this R and L are connected in parallel and this is RL parallel circuit. And this RL parallel circuit is connected across a sinusoidal voltage source or AC voltage source. We can replace this inductance with C. In that case, that will be RC parallel circuit or we can add an additional capacitor in parallel with this RL circuit that will be RLC parallel circuit or in more complex case we can have a resistance R in series with an inductance L and that is connected in parallel with a resistance R in series with, with a capacitance C. That will be also an AC circuit as you will see we have this voltage source applied across this RL parallel circuit. This will be AC parallel circuits. Now see here we are applying sinusoidal voltage. Therefore, instantaneous voltage Vt will be equal to Vm sin omega t. Okay. Therefore, RMS voltage phasor or RMS phasor of applied voltage. will be vector V that will be equal to V phase angle phi V you will see this V will be RMS value of applied voltage and this phi V will indicate initial phase this V will be equal to Vm over root 2 and here initial phase angle is 0 degree the total current will be I and the I vector will indicate the RMS phasor of total current now see if this is our branch 1 and this is our branch 2 the impedance of this branch will be ZR which will be equal to R phase angle 0 degree the impedance of this branch will be ZL or J omega L or JXL. Now see, using Ohm's law, we can calculate the current IR and IL that are flowing in this branch and this branch. Using Ohm's law, we can calculate IR. IR will be equal to voltage over impedance ZR or V over R. Here we are using Ohm's law I L will be equal to V over Z L or V over J omega L okay now see at this point I denoted that point with A so this is our node A in this direction the current I is entering in this direction current I R and in this direction current I L are outgoing so if I apply Kirchhoff's current law at node A using Kirchhoff's current law at node A I will get total current I equal to I R plus I L I R is equal to V over R and I L is equal to V over J omega L if I take out V here I will get V into 1 over R plus 1 over J omega L or total current I will be equal to V Y here this Y will indicate the admittance of the circuit 
what is the significance of this admittance see admittance y is the reciprocal of the impedance of the circuit the impedance indicates the opposition to current flow therefore the higher the value of impedance in a circuit the lower the current will flow in the circuit and the admittance will indicate how easily the current can flow through a circuit or the easiness of current flow in a circuit therefore the higher the value of admittance in a network the higher the current will flow in that circuit as the admittance is reciprocal of the impedance okay now see we express 1 over r plus 1 over j omega l with a variable y that will be the complex admittance of the parallel r l circuit okay complex admittance y equal to 1 over r plus 1 over j omega l now see we know that complex operator j is equal to root over minus 1 if i take j square here i will get minus 1 so i can break down this plus as minus into j square which will give us plus 1 over j omega l so i can write it 1 over r minus j square over j omega l if i cancel out 1 j from here i will get 1 over r minus j over omega l we know that the reciprocal of the resistance is known as the conductance of the circuit and in the circuit 1 over omega l will indicate the inductive susceptance of the circuit inductive susceptance b l is equal to 1 over omega l see here this y is equal to g minus j b l this g will indicate the real part of the complex admittance and this bl will indicate the imaginary part of the complex admittance the real part of complex admittance is conductance and it is represented by g and the imaginary part is called susceptance that is represented by b here b is equal to b l the susceptance is due to the inductance so this is the inductive susceptance of the circuit and we will denote that with bl here you will see inductive susceptance is a negative number so the total admittance in the network y is equal to g minus jbl or 1 over r minus j into 1 over omega l see we can deduce this y equal to g minus j b l by using the impedance values only that is known as the impedance approach of determining admittance of y see in the first branch impedance z r is equal to r phase angle 0 degree in the second branch the impedance is z l equal to j omega l therefore therefore using the parallel impedance formula we can write down the total impedance will be equal to 1 over z equal to 1 over z r plus 1 over z l if i take the lcm and the reciprocal of that i will get the total impedance z equal to z r into z l over z r plus z l now see the total admittance y in the r l parallel circuit is the reciprocal of the total impedance therefore y equal to 1 over z if i put the value of z here I will get y equal to z r plus z l over z r into z l z r is equal to r and z l equal to j omega l if i put the value of z r and z l i will get r plus j omega l over j into omega r l okay now see if i break down this term and this term i will get r over j omega r l plus j omega l over j omega r l this r and this r will get cancelled this omega this j and this l will get cancelled 
therefore if I put the value here I will get y equal to 1 over r plus 1 over j omega l just like the previous calculation I can break it like this minus j square over j omega l if I cancel 1 j from here I will get j so here I will get minus j over omega l which can be expressed as admittance y equal to g minus j b l this g is the conductance which is equal to 1 over r and the susceptance b is equal to b l which is equal to 1 over omega l now i will show you how to express the impedance in polar form in terms of g and b l that means i will express z in z phase angle phi in this form this is known as the polar form of the impedance here i will express z in terms of g and b l and i will express this impedance angle in terms of g and b l and if i replace g with 1 over r and b l with 1 over omega l i can express phi in terms of r omega and l therefore using this phi we can calculate the power factor of the r l parallel circuit so impedance z equal to reciprocal of admittance z equal to 1 over y we know that in case of parallel rl circuit y equal to g minus jbl if i take the conjugate of g minus jbl that means g plus jbl in both numerator and denominator i will get an equation like this therefore you will see if i multiply this one with this this will be like this a plus b multiplied with a minus b equal to a square minus b square so here we will get g plus j b l over g square minus j square b l square and we know that j square has a value of minus 1 so in the denominator we will get g square plus b l square and in the numerator we will get g plus j b l and if i separate out the terms i will get impedance j equal to g plus g square plus b l square plus j into b l over g square plus b l square here this g will be the real part here this portion will be the real part of the impedance z in terms of g and b l and this will be the imaginary part and we can use z equal to z magnitude and phase angle phi form here you will see the magnitude of the impedance in terms of z will be equal to just like this z equal to root over x square or real part square plus imaginary part square here the real part is g over g square plus b l square so here i will get root over g plus g over g square plus b l square whole square plus y is equal to b l over g square plus b l square so here i will get b l over g square plus b l square whole square if i take the lcm of both the terms i will get g square plus b l square over g square plus b l square whole square now see if i cancel out 1 g square plus b l square from here i will get root over 1 over g square plus b l square oh home this will be the magnitude of the impedance in terms of g and b l and here the impedance angle phi will be equal to 10 inverse like this 10 inverse imaginary part over real part here imaginary part is b l over g square plus b l square and the real part is g over g square plus b l square if i cancel out this one with this one i will get impedance angle phi equal to 10 inverse b l over j or b l is equal to 1 over omega l and g is equal to 1 over r therefore impedance angle phi will be equal to 10 inverse r over omega l see this is the impedance angle as we know the impedance angle of parallel rl circuit in terms of 
resistance angular frequency omega and inductance l we can easily calculate the power factor cosine phi that will be equal to cosine 10 inverse r over omega l okay so this is the impedance angle and previously i showed you the magnitude of impedance in terms of g and p l now i will show you how to draw the phasor diagram or current triangle of rl parallel circuit there are total four steps to draw the current triangle of parallel rl circuit at first we have to take a reference phasor we take that quantity as reference phasor which remains same all over the circuit in the parallel rl circuit the voltage v remains same so we will take the voltage v as our reference phasor with respect to reference phasor we will draw the current i r after drawing i r phasor we will draw the current i l phasor with respect to the reference phasor after that we will use the parallelogram method to draw the total current i in the circuit so at first we have to take a reference phasor we take that quantity as reference phasor which remains same all over the circuit see in case of parallel circuit the voltage v remains same across the resistance r and the inductance l so we will take the voltage phasor v as our reference phasor and we will take that reference phasor in the direction of plus x axis and we will indicate that reference phasor with o a so let's say this is o a phasor i am taking it in the plus x axis this will indicate the voltage phasor v okay after drawing the voltage phasor v or reference phasor v i will draw the current through the resistance phasor i r phasor with respect to this reference now see if i have a resistor r if the current that is flowing through the resistance is i r as a result the voltage drop across the resistance is v r how do we draw the vector diagram of this resistance usually in case of resistor the voltage v r and the resistance current i r will go in the same direction or they will be in phase that means i will take v r and i r in the same direction in case of parallel rl circuit the voltage across the resistance is v and the current through the resistance is i r therefore the voltage v and the current i r will be in phase that means they will go in the same direction that means see voltage phasor is going in this direction our current phasor will go in the same direction let's say i will denote that current phasor with o b and this will be our i r phasor after that we will draw the i l phasor with respect to the reference phasor see if i have an inductor l if the current through the inductor is i l and the voltage across the inductor is v l in case of an inductor the voltage vl leads current by 90 degrees therefore if i take voltage in this direction the current through the inductor will be 90 degree lagging from the voltage across the inductor see here in case of parallel rl circuit the voltage across the inductor is v and the current through the inductor is il therefore you will see if i take oa phasor in this direction in plus x axis the current through the inductor will be 90 degree lagging from this voltage across the inductor which is il okay after that we will use parallelogram method see this is our let's say oc phasor 
we will indicate the IL feather with OC. After that, we will use parallelogram method to find the total current I and we will draw the current triangle. See, I can draw an equal vector from this B. Let's say that equal vector is B D. The value of B D will be equal to O C which will indicate I L phasor. I can also draw an equal vector from this C. Let's say I will denote that equal vector with C D. C D will be equal to O B. Here this O B will indicate I R. Now see it is a parallelogram okay now see if I add O and D I will get the diagonal of the parallelogram where this angle will indicate 90 degree now see this is our OD you will see this OB will indicate current phasor IR this BD will indicate the current phasor IL we know that the vector sum of IR and IL will indicate the total current so this OD will indicate the total current phasor I in the circuit okay and this will be our neat sketch of the phasor diagram of the RL's parallel circuit okay see we will say the triangle O B D is a right triangle O B D is a right triangle and you will see this O B will represent current phase or I R B D will represent current phase or I L and OD will indicate the current phasor or total current I as we are drawing the OBD right triangle using the currents IR, IL and I this OBD right triangle will be our current triangle of parallel RL circuit similarly as this angle will be 90 degree you will see this OC will indicate current I L C D will indicate current I R and O D will indicate current I therefore you will see this O C D will be a right triangle as we are drawing the right triangle using the current components this will indicate a current triangle okay this is also known as phasor diagram of parallel RL circuit now see this is our reference phasor P and this is our total current I here the current I is lagging the total voltage V by an angle of phi so phi is the angle between the V and I and I lags the voltage V by an angle of phi now see if I consider OBD right triangle I can write it like this 10 phi is equal to height over base here height is equal to I L and base is equal to I R we know that I L is equal to V over J omega L and I R is equal to V over R if I put the value and cancel out V I will get 10 phi equal to R over omega L therefore you will see the impedance angle or the phase angle between voltage and current will be equal to 10 inverse R over omega L so this is our current triangle this O P 
PD this right triangle will be our current triangle now see I can write it like this total current I equal to I R plus I L now see we can write I equal to voltage pressure V into Y I R equal to V over R plus V over J omega L if I divide both sides with V I will get admittance Y equal to 1 over R plus 1 over J omega L or we can express this Y in this form Y equal to G minus J B L now see just simply dividing the currents with voltage pressure V we can deduce the admittance of the circuit so I can say that if I divide each side of the current triangle with the voltage pressure V I will get the admittance triangle this is what I have written here divide each side of the current triangle with voltage pressure V OB was representing the current I R which is equal to V over R now see if I divide this I R with V that will give us 1 over R which is equal to conductance G see BD was representing the current I L which was equal to V over J omega L if I divide this I L with V I will get 1 over J omega L or minus j square over j omega l or equal to minus j v l that means if i divide bd with the voltage pressure v i will get minus j v l see this is the minus j axis so this bd will represent the inductive susceptance now see this od was representing the total current i which was equal to V Y if I divide this with V I will get the total admittance of the network so this OD will represent the Y see in this triangle we get the conductance susceptance and the admittance as it is representing all the admittance components this triangle OBD will represent the admittance triangle of parallel RL circuit where this angle will be 90 degree and this angle will be phi and this will be a right triangle and this is known as admittance triangle and I showed you how do we draw the admittance triangle we draw the admittance triangle from the current triangle by simply dividing each side of the current with voltage pressure V. Okay, that's it. Thank you.